Hi. Welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss, how to become, AWS SysOps, Administrator Associate, AWS SysOps, Administrator Associate Exam Overview. AWS SysOps, Administrator Associate Exam is considered as one of the most difficult exams, when we talk about the Associate Level Certification. If you are a system admin then AWS SysOps, Administrator Associate will provide an advantage, to provide a good career scope. As an AWS SysOps Administrator, you will be validating your knowledge and managing, deploying and operating AWS systems. This certification is basically designed for those candidates, having a good knowledge in technical field, and should have an understanding in handling AWS platform. Get the basic exam details, from the table below. Course Structure Domain 1 Monitoring and Reporting In Monitoring and Reporting Domain you will be monitoring and managing the working processes. This covers 22% of weightage in the exam and is considered to be the most focused section, which requires more time. Such that this section tests the ability to manage and monitor billing and various cost optimization processes as well as skills to monitor performance and availability. Domain 2 – High Availability this domain covers 8% of the exam weightage. You will learn the following in this domain. First, implement elasticity and scalability based on scenario. Second, ensure level of fault tolerance based on the business requirements. Domain 3, deployment and provisioning. In this domain it includes deployment and provisioning with further sections. This covers 14% of the total weightage of the exam. The topics covered in this section are First, Validate your abilities to build the environment, to confirm the architectural design. Second, ability for provisioning cloud resources and managing the automation implementation. Domain 4, storage and data management. This domain covers 12% of weightage in the exam, and it includes first, demonstrate abilities for creating backups for different services. Second, manage disaster recovery processes and backups. Third, Ability to enforce compliance requirements. Domain 5, Security and Compliance. In Security and Compliance domain there are sections related to security policies and AWS platform. It covers 18% of the weightage and is also an important section for the exam point of view. This section includes First, implement and manage the security policies. Second, provide access controls and ensuring data integrity while using AWS platform. Third, understand the shared responsibility model and preparing security assessment for the use of AWS. Domain 6, Networking. This domain includes various concepts of networking, and covers 14% of weighted in exam. The section includes topics such as First, implementing the networking features of AWS Second, ability to implement connectivity features of AWS Domain 7 Automation and Optimization This domain covers 12% weightage in the exam. This section covers the topics optimizing the environment, to give maximum performance as well identifying the application deployment potential issues exam requirements following are the exam requirement for aws sysops administrator exam first you should have experience of one or two years as a system administrator with a good understanding of visualization technology second you should know how to monitor and audit system experience as well as translating the architectural design third good knowledge in networking concepts like Firewall and DNS can be an advantage. Exam scoring. First, for SysOps Administrator exam, you have to select one or more best suitable answers based on the type of questions. Second, there is no negative marking in the exam. Third, there can also be some portion in the exam which hasn't assigned any score or no score will be given on that part. Exam result. First, exam score is scaled between 100 to 1000. Second, on percentage basis, you need to score between 70% to 75%. Third, it is not necessary to pass each section, you just have to get the overall passing score. Fourth, each section in this exam has a varying weighting, with different number of questions listed against each section in the exam. Fifth, 
AWS SysOps Administrator exam, is based on pass or fail format. And also the exam result will be mailed to you within, 5 business days from the day of the exam. Sixth, Scoring in the exam is by minimum standards, established by AWS professionals as per the good guidelines, and practice. Exam objective, candidates giving this exam are assessed, using the following structure, first, ability to identify the best practice, of AWS operations. Second, estimating the cost, and identifying operational cost mechanism in AWS. Third, deploying, managing, and operating the fault tolerance systems on AWS. Fourth, implementation of the data flow, and controlling it to and from AWS. Exam Registration Follow the steps below for registration. First you need to register, and sign into AWS.Training. After that just click on, Certification on the top. Then, click on AWS Certification Account, Schedule New Exam. Check for the exam, you want to take and click Schedule, at Pearson V button, or PSI, preparing for the exam. You can prepare for AWS Certified SysOps Administrator exam, using free resources available both online, and offline. This will help you in understanding the topics better, and with an expert assistance always there to solve your queries. First, Reference Book. Second, Exam Course Provider. Third, Q and A. Fourth, Exam Practice Test. Fifth, AWS Training. Cracking AWS Certification Exam For passing the AWS Certification Exam, you don't only have to study but, there is also a need to make a plan for achieving the certification. First, make a blueprint. Second, check for websites, providing AWS Certification. Third, understand the concept. Fourth, practice exam, and test. Fifth, be punctual. Sixth, give the exam. For more such videos, subscribe our channel, and hit the bell icon for future updates. Also visit our website, 